Hey guys, so today I have um, a tutorial on the Square Knot Friendship Bracelet. It's a really simple design. It's easy to do. It doesn't take that long to make a whole bracelet. Um, you can make any form you'd like. You can make a necklace, a choker, an anklet, a bracelet, whatever you'd like. But right now I'm just going to be using some scraps of thread just to show you the pattern. And then once you get the hang of it, you can actually make a real um, piece of jewelry. So what you're going to be needing is embroidery floss, craft thread, some kind of string that you'd like to use um, that's you know pretty thin so you can it's easy to work with. You're going to need some scissors and a ruler to measure and cut the string. And you're going to need a clipboard or some sort of way to like hold down your um, string while you work on it and stuff. So let's get started. So first we're going to take the two strings I have. I have two colors. I have turquoise and yellow. Um, the thing about this pattern is that you're pretty much going to only see one color for the whole pattern, so you're just going to have to pick what color you want to show mostly. And I just picked that for, I picked the blue for that because I have more blue string, and the one that is going to show the most, the one that you actually use to knot with, is going to, um, you're going to need more string, you're going to need more string for that color. So, um, what I've done is just kind of like, I'm just going to fold both strings in half like this, just roughly like that and then fold this string then I'm going to take the middle of both and just knot it and make a loop like this just make an overhand knot, really simple basic knot nothing fancy like that and then just like make the loop about an inch or so, a half inch, whatever doesn't really matter like that then this is where the clipboard or your tape or your safety pin comes in handy so you, I'm gonna use my clipboard and just clip it right above the knot like that and now I'm gonna show you how to do the pattern so let me zoom in for you guys a little bit and then I'll show you how to do this so like that hopefully you guys can see now so first we're gonna take the strands that you're going to use to knot with are going to be on the very outer like, air, um, layer, like the outer side. And then the ones that are just going to be hidden in the will be in the middle, like this. These are going to be called your base strands, and then these are going to be your knotting strand. So what you're going to do first is take your left knotting strand and make a four and just put it over the base strands, like this. Then you're going to take your right knotting strand Put it over the left um, knotting strand, lift the yellow, bring the right through the loop right there. And then you're just going to make a knot. Just pull it. So it should look like this now. So pretty much you're just making a knot around the base strands. And then you just pull that tight. Then you're going to do the same thing but in the opposite way. So now you're going to take your right knotting strand, make a four, just like what you did with the left knotting strand. Bring your left knotting strand over. I'm going to try to hold this down so it doesn't go everywhere. Lift the base strands and then pull the left knotting strand through. So you're going to hold the base strands tight and make a knot. Just tighten the knot like that and then pull it tight. Okay. So I think actually that these base strands, I think I'm going to take them down because they're getting kind of annoying, like going everywhere while I'm trying to knot. So I'm just going to take a little bit of tape, like this, scotch tape, whatever tape you have in handy, and just tape it right here. Just so that it doesn't go everywhere while I try to knot. So now we're going to do the same thing again. Take the left knotting strand, bring the right over and then pull it through the left and then just pull the knot top like this and you're going to repeat that again but with the right so you're just pretty much alternating side left right left right so do the right again like this bring the left over and then bring it through and under the base strands and then pull the knot top like that really simple design and as you progress you'll see that there's like a square knot kind of pattern forming it's like a little square 
And um, yeah, so I'm going to keep on doing that just a few more times to show you. And then, um, yeah. So do the left now, like this. Bring the right over. Lift the middle a little bit. And then bring it under and through, like that. Pull it taut. And now do the right. So like this. Bring the left over. And then lift and then pull through. So um, hopefully you guys get how to do this now. It's not really hard at all. Um, so you're just going to keep on going like this until it gets as long as you'd like. And then um, all you're going to do to finish it off is gather all the strands. I just took the tape off. And then you're going to make an overhand knot right at the base, at the very under of the whole design, and like that, just to, um, you know, hold the, um, the whole design in place. And then later, you can just take it out and then tie it onto your wrist by slipping half the strands through the loop and then tying it in a knot around your wrist. And then that's all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And please rate, subscribe, and comment on my video. And I'll see you soon. Bye.